Well, hello again and welcome to another in the series of amazing puzzle solving techniques where this is still a simple puzzle but all we have got to do is try to figure out how we can use the different formulas to solve it. This is the standard formula where it says the fourth term subtract the first term divided by three should equal to the third term subtract the second term. Now looking over at the chart where it says 11D, which simply means there are 11 numbers in the diagram. Eight numbers are visible. Of the nine number that it needs to complete the diagram, eight numbers are visible. One number is missing and there will be a reject number. First, looking at the puzzle, it starts here, which is indicated with a one. Two, this will be the second sector. The third sector and the fourth sector so this puzzle will go in a clockwise direction now analyzing the puzzle for clues if we should look in the inner ring we see we have three terms and whenever we have three terms simple means we can use the formula or we can use our wisdom the first term is two the second term is three the fourth term is five and the fourth term is missing but we can use our wisdom by saying from the first to the, the second we move by one from the second to the third we move by two so obviously from the third to the fourth we will move by three and if we move by three from the third we will get eight so obviously we could use the standard formula we could use the individual formula how we can just use our wisdom so eight obviously goes there and we eliminate it over there now looking at the fourth sector we have three of the four terms so we can simply do a little addition 16 plus 4 that is 20 20 plus 8 that is 28 so how much more do i add to 28 to get to 35 we can subtract 35 subtract 28 5 subtract 8, we can, we borrow 1. 15 subtract 8, that is 7. So obviously the missing term is 7. And we look over in the chart and eliminate 7 over there. By putting 7 in this ring, we know of 3 terms, so we can use whatever means we need. The, fourth, the first term is 4. Second term is missing, third term is 6, and the fourth term is 7. We can simply use our little wisdom to know that the missing term is 5, or we could use the standard formula, or it's simple, we could just use the individual formula by saying 4 subtract 7 equals minus 3, divide by 3 equals minus 1 plus the third term 6 equal positive 5 so any which way we like it's very easy so 5 goes right there and we look and we eliminate 5 over there now looking at the second sector we have four terms so we can add all four terms to get the result so 6 6 plus 4 that is 10 10 plus 5 that is 15 15 plus 3 that is 18 so 18 should go right in the slot and we eliminate 18 over there now analyzing the puzzle we have three terms in the answer so we can use our wisdom or we can use any of the formula we need we want the first term is 11 second term 18 third term is missing Fourth term is 35. If we were going to use the standard formula, x, the third term, we would put the x right here. But we are going to use the individual formula where I would say the fourth term, 35. Subtract the first term, 11. That will be 24 divided by 3, 8. Plus the second term, 18, 26. So 26 must be the answer of here. And we eliminate 26 over there. Now, by simply doing that, we have reduced the number some significantly. The only numbers that remain are 10, 
11, 4, and 4. We need three of these numbers to fit here because a number is missing. We have to find it. And one of these numbers will be rejected. So looking at the puzzle, we look at the outer ring. We see the first term here is missing. Second term is 4. Third term is missing. And the fourth term is 4. But we notice we have two fours, and we, if we should have four consecutive four, that must be a sequence. So we are going to trust those four and place them right here and eliminate them over there. So we could be well on our way. Now, looking at the third sector, the result should be 26. We have 6 plus 4, that is 10. 10 plus 5, that is 15. So 26, subtract 15. That is 11. So we are going to simply place 11 right here and get rid of 11 over there. Now for the first sector, 4 plus 4, that is 8. 8 plus 2, that is 10. So how much more do I add to 10 to get 11? 1. So obviously 1 must be there. There is no 1 over there, so obviously 1 is the missing number. And only 10 stands alone, so 10 obviously is the reject number. So there we have it. If we are in doubt, we can check any of the sequences by using either the standard formula or the individual formula. Let us check this. The first term is 4. Second term is 4, third term is 4, fourth term is 4. I could say the fourth term 4, subtract the first term, which is 4, over 3, equal the third term 4, subtract the second term 4. Now, I can say 4 subtract 4, that would be 0, over 3, equal 0. So 0 over 3 is 0. So 0 over 3 is 0. So 0 equals 0. So this is a sequence. We can check anyone to be a sequence. So that's it today. Until next time, the puzzle is solved. So thank you very much. Have a nice day.